know what watches are. Some people, most people have them. You might have a watch that looks like this, that's very basic, you know, has the time, and maybe a few things like an alarm, a stopwatch, yada yada. Then some people have smart watches, which tell you more. Like, I currently have it rigged up to, this is mine, currently rigged up to tell Siri. Snap Watch Series 4. And some people have knockoff smart watches. And those are what we're going to explore in today. So let's get into it. This is literally what you get. It just comes packaged like this. You have your watch. You don't have an instruction manual, I just realized. You have the watch. It has these weird removable bands where you like pull on here and it pops off. And the bands pop off. How do you get this back? Back to a point in a minute, sort of. But basically, you put the bands back in. For any of you guys who are wondering, the way an Apple Watch works is you just a little button, you push that, and then you can just slide it out. And then put it back in, put it back in. It's so much easier than that. But then it's got a little magnetic charging thing. Mm, not that much. I mean, this isn't really a knockoff part, but it like hooks on to the bottom contact points and apparently has to go a certain way, otherwise it doesn't work. But I say we plug it in and see what goes on behind this thing. For some reason, $40, which I don't think is worth it, but um, we'll see if it's decent. It comes in green, pink, purple, and black. And it, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. The listing photos look legit, like, or not legit, legit. They don't look like an Apple Watch. But I guess it isn't really trying to be an Apple Watch, but we can all tell what it's trying to do. Like, this is obviously the style of an Apple Watch. Um, it says it has like sports activity modes and that sort of thing. I think it's meant for kids, but it, it, this is not a great knockoff. <laughs> Let's get looking at this thing. Okay, yeah, I'm done waiting. Here it is. So, there's no like setup or anything. It just pops onto the, whatever screen this is. Anyway, uh, that's an Apple of an Apple. Uh, let's connect it to a phone, I guess? So I have the iPhone 8 here because I'm currently recording with my phone. So we have the iPhone 8. Let's figure out how to connect it. I think I have to figure out what app I need to find or download. Um, maybe it's on the website? And that's installed, but I want to show you something first. Look at this. This is my setup. I have this. I moved over here because I think the desk look cool. So it's here, but look at this. This is literally my computer recording everything. And it's all bundled up to my computer. And yeah, um, I have the side of everything open, but it does work surprisingly. Like it's glitchy, you can see that. But it's really useful for seeing if stuff is in frame without having to like lean up and over my camera. Not 100% sure this would be in But anyway, now that our app is downloaded, we can sign in. Nice little jogger. Uh, yeah, probably to clear. Probably need it. Uh, let's visit his guest because I do not want to make it that. Date of birth January 1st, 1990. Cool. Big deal. Heck no. I'm not telling you my height. After thinking for a few seconds, I realized I probably didn't want to steal my personal information. Just needed to tailor the steps and stuff like that and make those correct. But it is still a bit sketchy when some random Chinese website asks for your name. And it looks like we're connected to this thing. Okay, um... You know what? This isn't terrible. Like, of course this app and stuff. Here, does it count me walking? I'm gonna put on my wrist. This band feels like garbage. I just walked from my bathroom and back, so let's see if it counted that. Oh, it actually did. That's actually not bad. I mean, I literally just walked in there, and that's it. But, like, I guess that, that's not that bad. I mean, it's 19 steps. In. This is. I mean, it's not the Apple Watch app. If you guys have seen the Apple Watch app, I will show you what that looks like. That looks. A million times better. But now that we're back from looking at that, like, this is horrible. You like sleep monitoring and do stuff when my, my Apple Watch isn't working. 
because, I mean, it, it sucks. Like, don't get me wrong. But look at this UI. Let's go through some settings. Let's see what we can do. Uh, QR code. Oh. Are you serious? I could have just scanned this instead of having to find phone. That's actually cool. Isn't it? If I heard that in the middle of the night, I would actually think there's a serial killer in my house. That's creepy. Why did they do that? See games. Jump. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this display. Look at this FPS. You know, these aren't horrible games, but they're not, these aren't fun. By no means are these, like, good games, but still, like, but, like, again, these, this would honestly not be horrible for, like, a little kid, which I think this is marketed towards. Still, timer. You can't even, oh, you actually can't just use timer. Set a timer for a minute. The vibration motor in this thing. Listen to that. Turn it It's so bad. You can't go into a different app. Well, that's actually kind of dumb. So just stop watch. Oh, that's controlling music on here. I want to watch this. I just logged on to YouTube and I saw this. I want to watch that. That looks insane. It's 25 minutes. I watch that while this moves over. Like ingest the footage. That control this too. Okay, let's download Spotify. Because I don't think I have Spotify in here. This might come as a surprise to some of you guys, but I've actually never full time used Spotify. I don't listen to much music, I would usually listen to podcasts. Which is what I should have tested on. And I would try Apple Music on here, but then I have to, I don't have the or my account signed in on here. MKBHD video. Oh I have it on It's broken. I'm so gonna get copyright strike for that. But it's broken. I can't. Oh, I actually can. I think it's why I don't want to do that. Hey, YouTube. Oh, I only have music. What is What is this? Is this like knockoff cycle? I would not. Like, I'm male, obviously, but I would not trust this thing with knowing that sort of thing. Okay. Let's see if the heart rate sensor actually works. This thing has an absolutely fake, I'll, I'll bet you that's fake though. Like, I have my actual Apple Watch, let's see what this says, because I'm, trust this, do not trust this. Uh, let's see what it says. It's taking longer, which I didn't see. That could actually be right. Wait. Wait, why could that actually be right? Why is my heart rate so high? So I'm filming maybe? This is wrong. This is making it, okay, this is making it completely up. It's over 30 beats per minute off. This is the real one. I'm, I'm nine, this should be the real one. This should not. If I, what happens if I move it over here on my arm? Switch it on. It does indeed go up. It's like, This is making up random garbage. This is making up garbage. It, 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 there's no actual heart rate sensor. Okay, that's fun. So if you guys were wondering, the controlling audio on here works pretty well. Um, this will probably make my phone. Oh wait, um, but it works so much better than this. Let's keep going through here. Let's see what we can do. Sleep. Oh, okay. Well, that's not horrible. No, I mean, I guess this probably has better battery life because it has absolutely nothing. Can you actually reply to messages? I did not click that. Brings up messages. Swipe up. Oh, there we go. That's opposite of do not disturb, okay? Screen brightness. 
Okay. Settings. Password. What, what can our password be? Oh, wait. Big deal. Who cares? Are you going to do that again? No. It's not going to do that again. Oh, that bring up system info. I'm gonna figure out the mail thing from that. If I hold this, does it? It does. That. We should go with that. We gotta. Get... <laughs> this actually isn't that bad of a wallpaper. I'm already showing you guys right on here. But honestly, like, for this is not forty bucks. This is not worth forty bucks. Do not spend forty dollars on this piece of garbage. Guess we can explore the app some more. See what the app has. Just slam that down. Sleep and heart rate, which we've already figured out is complete garbage. Can we rename it? No. Oh wait, no. Time format, let's get pull that. Oh, oh, there are actually a lot that you can choose from. No, it's too low. So there actually are watch faces that you can use. That's all. Oh, wow. Holy. Holy cow. So there actually are a lot of watch faces you can use. That's actually kind of nice. Sedentary. That's insane. That's amazing. Sedentary reminder. Sedentary. If you use it, like you. Sedentary, for those of you who don't know, it's when you sit around too much. So it's basically a stand warning. They called it sedentary reminder. That's actually hilarious. Apple health. I'm not hooking my Apple health to this thing. Why would you do that? Why would someone hook up health kit to this? Health actually has some important stuff on it. Like mine has like what I'm allergic to, which is pollen. So today has been a pain because of stupid pollen. But like, why did someone put in? Why did I start setting it up? That's stupid. Okay, so with this out of the picture, is this a decent watch for 40 bucks? No. I would say this is probably worth about 20 or 15. It's not a horrible watch for a kid or something. Like it's definitely geared towards a kid. You, but let's see how far away. Let's. I want to see. I'm gonna put this 40 meters away from a camera, and let's see if it's recognizable. Currently 40 feet away from them. They're over there. I'm the measure up, but 40 feet. Uh, my dog has joined me, so he's happy. But um, if I go into the camera app, which you'll see the inside of the camera app, you cannot tell a difference. You can you can barely see them. You zoom in, even with the uh, 15x zoom, which I can't get working right now. There we go. You can't really tell the difference. I mean, I guess you can kind of see the red on the knockoff one, but like, it's not that hard. Say it's at a, about when you can start telling the difference is about like here, which is probably about 20, 15, 25 feet away um, in real life, I guess. And then this far forward, like once you're about here, you can tell the difference. That one looks quite obviously different. Um, I'll do that in the edit because I can't do that right now. But like, this isn't horrible. Like, it's obviously not an Apple Watch when you get close to it. Like, you can see it doesn't have the digital crown, buttons in the middle, buttons red. Like, I don't know if they did that for patent infringement or just because they couldn't copy it as well. I've seen worse fakes. This is definitely not one of them. Oh, there's even more over here. Holy. Steps, heart rate. Yeah, but like this thing is, do, do not, do not get scammed, guys. Do not buy this. And I guess I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't, um, don't buy this.